Hello, this is Tolo from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can wrap your models in Blender. And when I say wrapping, I don't mean like in retopology. I mean in terms of like, you know, when you go to the store, you want to buy things in bulk. Uh, and they're wrapped in plastic for easier shipping. And that's the kind of wrapping that I'm referring to. And that can be done by using the add-on called the Rapid Add-on. Uh, once again, it's not free. You have to pay for it, but for the price, it's not that bad. Um, it's for uh, Blender 4.1, but I'm using 4.0 myself, and it still works fine. I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can check it out yourselves and download it. And once you've downloaded it onto your system, the installation process is still the same. Uh, click on Edit, Preferences, Install. Navigate where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on that zip file, then click on install add-on. And let me type it in the search bar here. And then put check in the box and it's activated. And you won't see it on the uh, right-hand side of your UI of Blender. It's not in the tool panel at all. It's actually in the pop-up menu when you press Shift-A on your keyboard. Shift-A, you see Rabbit at the top when it comes to the mesh options. So we're going to stick with our scene here. We're going to keep our cube here. But what we're going to do is we're going to add more models to this so we can really challenge the add-on and see what it can do. So I press Shift in our keyboard again, Mesh. Click on Monkey. Uh, let's press 1 to go into the front view. Click on our Move Gizmo. Left click and drag so down on the X axis. And then Shift A again, and let's pick something challenging for the uh, add-on to work with, which would be the cone. Left click on that, left click and drag on the X axis in the opposite direction. And in order to see the wrap, the uh, rapid add-on in its full glory, so to speak, we're going to change our viewport uh, to EV. Actually, let's change it to Cycles because Cycles looks better. So we're going to click on uh, this tab here, the render tab, turn from EV to Cycles. From CPU, when you, if you have a strong graphics card, you can change it to GPU Compute, so I do have that. And let's change our world settings, give it more of a natural look. So we're going to click on this tab here. Click on the color tab and make it a little bit brighter. And turn to like a light blue color. And now let's change the color of our models so they can really stand out uh, as they're being wrapped. So with our cone selected, let's scroll down and scroll with our uh, hover our mouse cursor over uh, this set of tabs here and just scroll down your mouse wheel. That will help you scroll down to the uh, material tab. Left click on that. Click on new and let's turn this from white to red. Click on our cube there. That already has a material applied to it. Left click on that color tab, turn this to blue. Left click on Suzanne, click on new. Click on that color tab and turn this to like a greenish color. And there we have it. Now we're going to select all of our models here by holding down shift with Suzanne. I always select to hold down shift, left click, left click, and then shift A and go up to mesh and wrap it. You have this pretty simple and straightforward menu. I'm not going to go over all of it, but I'll go over most of it. Uh, now the mesh offset, we want to crank that up to, I've seen that 0.003 works fine. And the wrap offset, the same amount of, uh, the same amount of also 0.003. Uh, you have option for the wrap method, near surface points, the nearest vertex group and the uh, tangent or target normal pro target normal project. Uh, but I see that leaving it on the nearest surface point works just as well. Now the wrap mode could be on surface, inside, outside, uh, above surface, outside surface, on surface works fine also. And keeping it on subdivision works great. Now this part of it is the sub le subdivision level, which uh, pretty much helps the wrap its aspect of it, the wrapping, the wrapping uh, aspect of it, so to speak. It makes it more polished looking, a little bit more, a lot smoother. 
So I will usually crank this up to, let's crank this up to like five and that should work. The smoothness does the same thing. Let's click on this and type in five here also. Now the, the repeat, uh, I've experimented with that and that can give you some really, really, really strange results. So we're gonna leave that at zero. And we're gonna leave this as five degrees and then I'm gonna click on that shader because it's, it's gonna add a plastic shader which includes transparency and also some reflections to the wrapping and let's see what happens when we click on OK. Look at that. Now this is pretty impressive, this is pretty cool. It looks like these objects have been uh, wrapped up in uh, plastic. Now the reason why I chose these different shapes is we can see how the plastic seems to stretch from the cone to the cube to Suzanne and it wraps around nicely around all the objects so it works great. It's straightforward, no issues with it, no complication with it. The uh, presets for it are just pretty much pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy to understand. So that's how it works. It's just a simple, straightforward add-on that does the job, um, and it does a great job of doing it. But let's test it <clears throat> in terms of importing an object from outside of Blender into Blender and see if it works the same. And I've already have a scene set up for that, so I'm going to click on File and open Recent Test Blend. That's the one I've set up. Don't save that. We have our human here that I've downloaded from uh, an external software. Let's see it in Shaded View, and we're going to keep it selected. We're going to see if the add-on works on an, on this object here. So we're going to press Shift A again, wrap it, and the same settings. 0.003, 0 0.003, keep all that the same, 5, 6, enter, keep all that as is and click on OK, and it still works. So yeah, this add-on is a, it's a really great add-on, it works great, and it does, works on objects that have been, been imported into Blender from an external uh, software, and it works on, obviously, models within made within blender so yeah that's a rapid add-on that works phenomenally great um yeah so you guys can download it and try it out and hopefully watching this tutorial will help you you know become more interested in uh, using 3d software especially blender with use of these add-ons because they make the use of blender a lot easier and a lot less of a hassle uh, thank you guys for watching remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.